What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. Zesma666, back again with Dragon Fable Store Walkthrough, Part 9. I think it's Part 9. Anyways, last time, we are continuing the, uh, Wind Orb Saga, with the ninjas here, and last time, we fought Draculith in the Fire Caves, and the Wind Orb, uh, attacked him and flew him away and took him someplace. We don't know where that is, but he just told us that uh, some of the villagers have spotted him flying in the middle of town. So evidently the wind orb took him right in the middle of the town. Why? I don't know. Well, I do know because I've already recorded this, but you don't know. So that's what we're going to find out. So like always, we're arguing back and forth here, telling Dracula to give me back the wind orb. It's for the sake of the people on this island, and he wants to power to himself. And stuff like that. He's like, I'm the rightful king of this land. The orb belongs to me. Eventually, you'll be able to battle him. And you'll notice the wind orb isn't next to him this time. Which obviously means you're probably going to be able to beat him in the battle. He, he's not that hard. He, he never was. He might have been when you first fought him if you... When I first fought him, I believe I was at level 5 because I did the quest to get Surging Sword. And that leveled me up quite a bit. But if you went and fought him right when you were level 3, which is the requirement for that quest, it might have been a little hard. But he's not that hard anymore. Anyways, this guy double-crossed him. And basically, he's saying now, I unlocked like half the Wind Orb's power and told it to... Take Draculith right in the middle of this village and let nothing stop you. And obviously we were trying to stop him, so it pretty much killed us. Or, you know, injured us completely, you know. We didn't die, but we weren't battle ready or whatever. Anyways, so, he's basically just, oh, hey, I'm just gonna kill Draculith, or I'm going to kill Mr. Zezma666, and then I'm going to raise this un this giant guy, Honda, and, uh, you know, take over this land. And uh, that giant Sneevel, I forgot to mention that, and we have an undercover, undercover agent, uh, and uh, that's the undercover guy, and he basically just threw a sword at the wind orb to knock it out of his grasp. Anyways, he says Honda's awakened. And so, you're going to have to deal with that. The ninja people are going to have to deal with that, but uh, he's going to deal with uh, you. And Draculith, this is what I, why I don't like Draculith. He, he's like, oh, this I will be avenged and stuff like that. And then he just, the, he just disappears. Watch. And you know me so well. Boom. And he's gone. And you both agree. <laughs> Yeah, he's not a nice guy. But, and then, like always, another boss battle. You're going to have to fight him again. You can heal up right before it. But, like always, it's not that hard. Y you stun him, and then... I, I forgot to mention, I do recommend the warrior class. It's a very nice class. Uh, on my other profiles, I used the Rogue class, and I didn't really enjoy it as much as I used the Warrior. So, use the Warrior class if you're going to be new to this game. It's sort of a late to tell you that. But Thytan's basically giving you his ultimate thing, saying that you have the respect of every man, woman, and child in the in this clan. But, uh, that's it. That's... You're pretty much done for people who don't have the Dragon Amulet. If you do have the Dragon Amulet... You can go and fight Honda the Giant, and you can fight Sculpture on his uh, giant dragon uh, that he uses Dragon Amulet on. So, but those are member quests. Well, if you don't have that, that's the end of this video. So let's get to the recap page. Click on the subscribe button to subscribe. Click on the bottom YouTube link to visit my channel. And please like and rate. And I really hope you enjoy this video. Thank you very much. See you next time.